Pennsylvania's teacher crisis, there are not enough of them, and that is something the governor, state lawmakers, and teachers unions all agree on. Tonight, Sonica Bargo shares one former teacher's story. I thought this would be my career from pretty much the moment I stepped foot at college. Jake Miller says for him, teaching was a calling. I feel like my teacher saved my life, so I wanted to be that type of person for kids as well. He spent 15 years as a teacher, 13 in the Cumberland Valley School District. Teaching here was truly the, the most remarkable experience in my life. Teaching mainly social studies, but when COVID hit, things started to change. I loved it, and then COVID came and just upended that year. Jake says teaching on Line meant he couldn't connect with students. I spent a lot of time putting my knee down next to someone's desk, just talking to them. I lost that and it, it really hurt. That was the first time he considered leaving, but in 2021, he gave it one more try, hoping things would get better as schools returned in person. It was worse than teaching online. Like the kids, people just forgot how to operate with dignity. Jake's teaching career ended in March 2022. I still gave it my all, but I didn't think like it was enough and I felt like the magic that I had had almost dried up. But his impact didn't. It was teachers like Mr. Miller and Mrs. McVitie that really influenced me and made me want to join the same profession. Abby Miller spent her childhood in Cumberland Valley schools with teachers like Jake. He wanted us to have fun and really enjoy learning. Now she's a sophomore at Shippensburg University, studying to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher to teach kids to be kind people. Jake says he hopes more people can see teaching the way Abby does. I just have so much love for where I'm from and uh, the people that supported me throughout my educational career, I just would love to give back to that same community. If you can do, teach, because you are teaching the future to do. In Cumberland County, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.